Oh no! I visited a site I shouldn't have. I definitely don't want anybody to know that that's there. Or you're just tired of keeping your history around on your computer or within your browser. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to delete your browsing history in Windows 10 on Chrome. So you've been to a website and you didn't mean to go there, or you just don't want somebody tracking where you've been or when you're going there. Well, there's incognito mode, but if you're not using that and you're on your regular browser, you want to delete your search history or delete where you've been or just kind of keep up to date with it to manage some hard drive space. Well, there's a very simple and easy way to make sure and remove that data from Google Chrome. Now, the easiest way to do this is going to be on the top right side, you will find the three dots. You're gonna go click on that and then click on settings. This will bring you to a different page. Now, there's going to be a lot of options here that you can go through and Google Chrome, they're no stranger to having lots of options, but you're gonna to go to the main menu up at the top left, click on the settings tab, and here you're gonna see advanced. It's not going to be open yet. So you're gonna click on that and make sure that it opens up. Here, you're gonna find privacy and security. And once you click on that, you'll find a new host of options. Now there's probably gonna be some stuff here that you had no idea was there. Most of it, it's pretty harmless. And let's be honest here, what are we really getting out of this? Now, if you really are worried about your cookies, there's a couple of ways of doing this. To clear your browsing data, simply down at the bottom, it says it right here, clear history, cookies, cache, and more. You can click on that and go through and you can tell it what you want it to click and when you want it to destroy that data or erase that data, the last hour, the last 24, seven, seven days, four weeks, or basically all of your data. All these options are right here available for you. And it can free up space. It can take care of a lot of browsing history that you just aren't proud of there's different things that you can do and there's different reasons for each person now to make sure to see if you don't want that recorded in the future you can simply go one step up go to content settings and click on this here it's the exact same thing allow sites to save and read cookie data you can turn this off and this is a very simple way or you can simply block individual sites and you can do that by clicking the add button here generally if people are turning off their cookies it's going to be basically all of them but if you do have very specific ones for very specific reasons this is a very quick and simple way to do it is to simply go there it's going to be in your settings it's going to be in the advanced and it's going to give you a lot of control over the individual things it used to just kind of be a couple of options a one all be all but now there's so many individual things that you kind of have to keep an eye on well there's a lot to kind of take in but it is pretty self-explanatory and this is how you turn off your cookies your content settings here and be able to adjust a lot of that here in google chrome well that does it for this tech tip having trouble with something of your own tweet me or find me on facebook for help might even make a video about it also be sure to subscribe for more tech tips and other tech content in the future see you next time